So what is going on guys, it's Triple G here, back with another Borderlands 3 video, and in today's video, we're going to be going through our Sentry Mose build. Now this build is a primarily a Iron Bear build, we're going to be doing tons of damage with the miniguns, which has recently been buffed due to the fact that the anointments have changed and it's given more damage on the anointments. Couple that with the fact that Iron Bear just is an absolute beast means that you have another variation of an Iron Bear build. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch. We stream five times a week and otherwise, let's get straight into this video. So as you can see from the footage here, this Iron Bear build is a little different to the one that we did called Perma Bear a couple of days ago. Perma Bear used the rail guns, whereas this is going to be just the mini guns themselves now the great thing about the mini guns is there are a couple of different variations you can do it in fire splash damage and cryo giving you that nice little mix when taking on some of the content in the game the maloan takedown and the guardian takedown are really really easy with this build given that you have a ton of health and a ton of damage through iron bear so let's have a look at the skill tree so first up we have the green tree and we're going to be going all the way down to specialist bear here we're going to be picking up things like redistribution scrappy and stoke the embers for some extra damage just bear in mind that you're going to be an iron bear probably 95 percent of the time but we are going to be on cooldown at some points so those times that you are on cooldown you are going to want to pick up some other of these skills again you could have let off steam here as the minigun uh, which will give you some more damage for the heat capacity but general winter will give you some more duration as well and it will allow you to fire those cryo bullets clearly we're going to be taking the minigun here which is the top of this green tree as well so next up it's the purple tree and there is no surprises here that we are picking up action skill cooldown rate action skill status and fuel so all the skills as you will see here is we're going to capstone out all the skills you see here is fuel returned maximum fuel and damage that's what we're going to be doing here so we've used the green tree to select the miniguns and we're using the purple tree to extend the duration of iron bear itself and then a little bit of a different type of um blue tree here we're going to take stainless steel bear obviously for maximum fuel and iron bear damage and armor we're also going to take deadlines for fuel returned and drain cooldown right here so that we get it back if we are on cooldown remember we are not going to be as strong when we're not in iron bear and then uh, four points into firing the skags den here we don't actually need that much damage from firing the uh firing the skags den as well so it's but it's just nice to pick up anyway then finally onto the red tree or the pumpkin sky spice tree armored infantry five points drowning in brass five points and then experimental munitions a single point which kind of rounds off our skill tree review then the only thing you need to worry about here is the anointment so i have an opq here with iron bear is active minigun damage is increased by 150 percent all three guns have this anointment we also have a dark army in here that will allow you to fire dots on enemies because those drones will remain alive whilst we're in iron bear in terms of the shield we have a revolter but you can change this out for a plus ultra if you want more armor on your iron bear now i like the revolt because when i jump in i have those few extra seconds for um with shock damage which will give us that bonus when we're doing bossing however feel free to change this to a plus ultra if you want then we have a heat exchanger here uh, which will allow us to gain 80 percent more minigun damage huge thanks to my viewers here that provided this heat exchanger i have had zero luck so far with any heat exchangers so far we'll be on the discord if you want it um but again uh, i have literally the worst rng and then i have a pearl here which will give us some increased uh stack damage and we're also using the recurring hex with the while iron bear is active taking damage will spawn a grenade of up to a 20 percent chance now this actually goes off quite a lot in the Malawan takedown because there are a ton of people shooting at you at the same time just bear in mind that in the guardian takedown there's not as many people shooting at you so you won't see the hex as much so just bear that in mind in terms of the gameplay loop it's very very simple we're going to be shooting our miniguns in iron bear as much as we want however long as we want and most of the content in the game we're going to be able to absolutely crush in just a few bullets from those miniguns 
it is really really simple some of the tougher content in the game like the raid boss they're going to take a lot more damage but remember that you both have cryo and incendiary through this tree so things like hermivorous whilst they might take a little longer they will actually still die pretty quickly guys that is it for today's video if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise i'll catch you on the flip